Now, you know Steve Tate, former University of Utah football player. He is now an author, the 20-month legend, uh, the story about your bat boy's battle with cancer. Steve, thanks for coming in. And what inspired you to write a book? That's not an easy thing no. to do. Especially for an ex-athlete, right? I yeah. Mean, <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be the dumb jocks. <laughs> right, right, right. We don't write books. Uh. You know, I had this overwhelming feel feeling after, after Hayes passed away. You know, it was only 10 days after he passed away, and I, I, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I, I just felt like I needed to write this book. And um, anyway, I pushed it off, right? I tried to ignore the thoughts. And then I, I, I got a kind of a random message from somebody that followed our story on Instagram where we, you know, we shared a lot of our stories. And this random person, I, I didn't know who it was, but, um, you know, she said she woke up this, that, that, that morning and said she felt like she needed to reach out to me to, uh, to write a book. And this was, you know, only, wow. only uh, two hours after I had the same impression in the middle of the night. So it was one of those where um, I knew I had to do it. And I didn't know why necessarily, but I felt like my son, uh, his story needed to be told. We had three older kids and um, we get the unexpected news, we're expecting triplets. And, uh, you know, I kind of take you through that process of how I handled that. And, and we did, and it was, it was, our life was great. As, as chaotic as it was, it was so enjoyable. And um, about nine months hit, and it was right around Christmas time when we noticed Hayes, our son, was not, was not feeling well. Sure enough, finally our intuition you know, kept pushing us, and uh, around mid-January we found out that Hayes had a brain tumor, and it was the size of a lemon taking up um, a third of his brain. And I think a lot of what we do now is, is through the example that I talk about of my son, right? And he was battling this rare form of brain cancer and his odds were against him, but you know, I, I was so inspired by him and the way he lived um, that it, it really pushed me to write this book about, about how he lived and how we can kind of use that example to get through some of the trials we face. How are you able to turn this into a positive where you're able to help so many people now because of the experience that you and your wife and your family went through? The grieving process is, is extremely, uh, um, emotional, right? I mean, and it's unexpected, comes in waves. Um, and the only way I've been able to kind of neutralize that, because there's peaks and valleys of this, of this grieving process, and the only way I've been able to really neutralize that is, is through the work of our foundation, and it's helping other families. And, and last year, you know, we just started this from scratch, my wife and I, um, and last year we raised over $155,000. Wow. Um, we helped over eight families that we gave them financial support so that they could go and make memories with their, with the, with their sick child. So, um, you know, when I see these families um, celebrating the life of their, of their loved one who's battling cancer and they're in Hawaii or in their, you know, California on the beach and they're out of the hospital and knowing that we did that for them, um, it's helped me get through some, some lonely, lonely places in my life. And so, like I mentioned, I, I know we're helping others, but in some ways it's helping me more than it's helping them. And, and, you know, it's kind of our journey now in life is to live for Hayes. Well, here it is. The goal is accomplished. The 20 month legend, my baby boy's fight with cancer by Steve Tate, author Steve I Tate. I know, right? Who knew? Who thought Pretty that was going to happen? Yeah. Where can people get this book and when is it coming out? So March 13th, the release date. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, right? So it's on Amazon.com, at uh, Target.com. You can go to BarnesandNoble.com, Simon & Schuster. It's available uh, nationwide right now through HayesTough.org. Uh, you can get it before the March 13th release date. Um, and, and that, and as I mentioned to you, all proceeds of this go to the Hayes Tough uh, Foundation. So this is not something that I'm profiting uh, for. It's, it's, it's going to the foundation to help other people battling cancer. And if people want to get involved in the foundation, they go to the website? Yeah, HayesTough.org. Um, and we really rely on donations. We re rely on people kind of being uh, emotionally connected to our story and then helping us with those donations so we can help, help families in need. Well, Steve, congratulations on the book. You're an inspiration. I appreciate oh, you coming thank in. Thank you, Jeremiah. Good luck with this. Thank and, you. Uh, can't wait to dig into it. I appreciate it.